<laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Good morning, bud. I'm surprised you're able to get out of the truck so easy. Yeah, let me tell you about today, dude. Beautiful day. Warm out, sun shining, lots of sleds in the air. Turns out you can just ride anywhere you want here on snowmobiles. Also, my body is ripe, dude. It's tight. Forearms, enough to put a grown man out to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're out here. We just got here. We're gonna check in, see what's going on. Feeling really good. Track looks awesome. It yeah. looks awesome. Like it's yesterday by the end of the day. She was rough. Makes sense. A lot of sleds out there. It was beat up. A lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. It's gonna get that way a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. I think you've seen the worst of the track. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Though. They groom between it. rounds. Yeah. So today's race day. Mm -hmm. Vintage sleds. They're over here. Doug suggested that we try a 500 out. I'm not sure where that's at, Doug. It's yeah, I think it's this one idea. right in front of us. So if it's still available, it's a newer chassis and a lighter sled. I think this could be a real advantage because the fight out there today is just gonna be with yourself, keeping your body in shape, not gassing out. This, we were told yesterday, still available to ride. Really? If that's Why the, didn't I pick this one? You got That's lost the in the sauce, bud. It'd right. be a lot easier to handle out there. I think it might be an advantage. I don't think you need the power of the 600 triple. So. Yeah. I got rippled in the triple, dude. Oh, you did. Man. Well, this is what we'll do. We'll go. We'll figure it out. We'll see if this is still available. And if it is, we'll ride it. And then we'll race it. And then we won't win, probably. But we will do our best. I'm going I'm to tell you guys right now. This is number 11, so I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> That's your uh, number. <laughs> but also, on a side note, I just noticed that. Uh, we're not going to win. So yeah. just throw that out there. <laughs>
I'm racing. Done. <laughs> You're on the uh, 500. Kinda, that's that's what's happening. I'm getting I, the old 500. You just kind of did the reverse dish banger though with your haircut though. Ah, sorry that's about that. That's a good that. point. I'll get that straightened out next year. You no, know, I literally started growing my hair out in September. Okay. And I wow. cut it into a mullet the day before the dish banger. I'm growing my hair out right now for next year. Just wow. Dish just, it looks great. It's it's low, dude. It yeah. looks great. I feel like I messed up trimming my beard. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, this sucker's ready to rip. <laughs> I think she's good, ma'am. We'll uh, throw the air box back on, fire it up, take it for a little ride, and cross our fingers. What's up, dude? Hey, man. Have you seen the fresh mods on the uh, throttle here yet? I want jet no. ski mode. All right, oh, these flipped her, eh? Triple carbs are a lot to move. Uh, not. I don't have like a jack thumb for this kind of stuff. If I was a snowmobiler, I would. I'm not. Anyway, so. Just for the record, uh, he didn't listen to the snowcross guy. Literally. That said, don't do that. Everybody <laughs> said, don't do this. But so. I've gone on the biggest jumps of my life on a jet ski with a finger throttle. So uh -huh. I think we can handle this. You've been there, dude. You were there for it. You don't know until you try, you know? Yeah, this is uh, what it's going to be, though. Um, so yeah, this is it. I'm riding the triple. Nick's on the triple. We're both race sievered up. Doug's got a race siever on the 500. He's entered the mm -hmm. race. Here's the deal. I knew from the second we got here he wanted to race. I knew it. We all knew it. Yeah. He's he's, would, he wouldn't admit it to himself. But uh, we're here now. Nick's going to sticker himself up. I'm stickered up. I did a really bad job. So it's actually just hard to read the number. But uh, I mean, hey, that's cool, dude. in the sun, I can see it. Good. 21. We'll be 21, good. 21. Okay, 21, yeah, dude. 21. For me. Yeah, the number 11, Joe's yeah. Meats. Oh, those are mine. Okay, chill. I need one. <laughs> Oh, yep, I'll be able to see that. <laughs> you need to put one on the, like, the back or something. Joe's meat. So there'll be some meat hanging off the back, but it's going to be my body meat. <laughs> Hopefully not separated from my body, but that's a possibility. His nah, body. you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Separated from his body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andrew would like to give the last... Last say. Yeah, um, so it'll be roughly eight minutes plus a white flag checkered. Um, in the finals, we're running 10 to 12. So that's a long time on a dish banger. If any of you have run in the past, that's about what we've ran. And uh, if you haven't ran this before and you're nervous about how many laps you're gonna get, go talk to somebody that ran it last year and ask them how many days they were sore afterwards. So <laughs> it'll, uh, it'll be plenty. So let's have a fun day and thank you for coming guys. Appreciate you all, thank you. This is gonna be nuts. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that just opened a whole new book there. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, it's not the final, but it, it might final, as well be. But you are, might as well. Dude, I'll be honest with you. I am freaking terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing good out there. So uh, I'm hoping we're just in the back of the pack. That's what I want. I kind of want to pace everybody out. And then that's it. Get a feel for it, get comfortable. The good thing about this is in our class, everybody's going to the final. So just go out there, lay it down. You don't have to go that hard in qualifying. Just take it so, easy. Yep. Take, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. bud. Pump brakes, okay? This chest protector, my nips are both going, ah! <laughs> oh, Your nips are outside of the chest protector. <laughs> wow. There is so many people and racers here. It's incredible. Yeah, there's like 270 sleds, and there's got to be at least four times as many people. So yeah. this is going to be sick. It I'm so nuts. jacked. Awesome. Yeah, we 
you'd have to just wipe it off. You boys look good out there. Uh, I don't know about that, man. We're giving her. You guys were having fun. You, I saw all you guys out there real fast. We were dying. So, so casual cruisers, can we say? Casual cruisers? That's, that's putting it probably too, too lofty. <laughs> I'm an arm pump amateur, dude. Brace support, me. I was in the front. I told the guy behind me. Just so you know, mine is going to bog out of the hole. I can't get it to run right. So don't run me over. Uh, I'm sorry. It bogged out. Everyone passed me. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm in the second, third corner. I'm pushed to the outside of the berm, which no longer is a berm, but is a wall. Yep. And then I got on the wall and then fell off the wall. Yep. And then was passed by everyone except for Street Bike Tommy who ran me over. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yeah. Eventful. And then I went. And then he fell, and I went street bike and Tommy. <laughs> it's really yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, but then uh, the rest of the race was okay. I had clean air, and I'm like, I'm doing okay. And then I start hearing pipes behind me. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I realized people are laughing me. And then my pride was gone. How'd your race I mean, go? You look good up there. Nice. You look good up there. I watch you. How'd your race go? Yeah, started way too, way too close to the front. I mean, I was the third spot in the front line. Didn't want to be there. Thought that was not the place for me. Yeah. So what happens? I immediately fall into this trap. I need to get ahead of these guys. Oh. Uh -huh. I need to get in front of these guys. Yep. Get a decent launch. Skis are colliding. Coming to the first corner. It's pandemonium. There's people passing left and right. I'm trying to hold my line. Come up to this berm, maybe. At some point, I collide into someone. Tie rod brakes, skis no. just flopping. I don't oh. notice it until like I'm trying to turn. I'm like, man, this thing is sounding like garbage. And I'm watching it. It's just going straight. Wow. And then uh, eventually it dislodged and kicked to the side. So I'm like, I'm out. Wow. And I pulled off. And then I watched you guys race. You guys did a good job. Thanks, from man. A, uh, from my yeah. outside perspective. You guys did a really good yeah. job. Yeah. Killing it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> killing it. I felt I was having a blast out there. So it took almost like more than a half a lap to get my sled to finally come on the fight the first time. Ooh. So she bogs horribly. Everybody leaves me at the line. I putz around. I end up putzing past the giant collision where a bunch of people are falling off right next to me. That like, was me. I plow in the corner, everybody's falling, and I'm just doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Shortly after that, sled comes on the pipe and uh, had a decent rip. It's super duper slow. It's yeah. way too slow to do anything with. But I managed to make, I think, three passes, a few passes at least. Really? So, That's three passes more than me, yeah. but. Wow. Passed a few, but it, it's, it's just not fast enough to be like actually competitive. Yeah. But. You know, I'm the we can the switch sleds if you want. We'll give her a run. We're down, uh, what you call, decades of experience. That's what it was. Oh, decades <laughs> oh, of experience. <laughs> yep. How did you make passes? I don't, who were you passing? Because he has decades of experience. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to drive the sled hard. It was just all I could do. So I passed Street Bike Tommy. I passed the Red 700 SX. I passed one Skidoo at one point, I think. You were probably catching up to me, because because street bike was behind me. Okay, okay. So yeah, you were catching up to me. Wow. Street bike, I think, was the last one I passed. I don't remember, but okay. there was a few. And then right towards the end, I think the guy that was running first on the red sled came around me. Okay. So he was he was flying. So you're out. Who's to say? Yeah, that's what is. This is what you wanted to happen. I mean, Congratulations. What I wanted right to happen was. Yeah, I'm good, dude. So you're saying <laughs> you, all right. Well, we got some stuff to look at. I guess let's. Uh, Let's go do that. Yeah. Yep. 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 in the front row, but 
It's uh, it, <laughs> it's gonna be tough. It kind of sucks. I'm in the middle of the third row, so I'm gonna have a lot of traffic in front of me. That's, it doesn't matter. No. It's all good. Just get out there, and like they said, you can't win the race in the first couple laps. So just try to get through like the first lap without getting into trouble, without getting into one of these pileups. Let people spread out, and then hopefully we can do some work. Yep. Woo. See what we can do. So I started in the back, which was good. Yeah. I passed roughly nobody. But I was out there. Dude, there was yeah. some people that crashed that I passed. Yeah, no, I was ready, gonna say. Right? Okay, we have uh, changed locations. I died out there. Uh, I started in the back. Good thing, I got lapped super hard. And then the guys that were going around me were the guys in the front. I'm yeah. like, ah, I'll see what their lines are. It turns out it's the same lines two times as fast as <laughs> <laughs> so I, I couldn't do it. And the uh, guy in the jeans out there, yeah. man, that, I don't know what he was. Dude, there was, was it was rowdy. There was people dropping left and right. Dude. Like, yeah. I'm like, I see a ball. Half the crowd is a, a white XC. So I'm like, please don't let that be Leo. Please don't let that be done. <laughs> I know. It's so hard to keep you guys, like, yeah. keep track. I mean, the thing to remember is, like, there are some legit, very experienced racers out there on well set up sleds. You can't be disappointed. You were out there doing it. I was out there doing it. I had a blast. I mean, probably five, six laps in was starting to feel the fatigue pretty yeah. heavy and was, you know, thinking to myself I was taking it easy-ish and saving it, but got pretty tired, yeah. you know, and then uh, towards the end, there was one sled for sure that I could have passed, and I'm like, I know I'm getting close to the end of my strength, like I'm gonna wait for the last lap, and I never saw a white flag. Oh, me either. So uh, there was one sled that I, there was a yellow MXE, I could have took it, but I was waiting, and then it was checkers, so. Yeah. yeah there was no white flag. I'm like, when is this race gonna be over? <laughs> yeah. And then I came around the corner, Jean's boy flew around me going 200, <laughs> and I saw the checker, and I'm like, I'm out of it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm idle the rest Thank of the goodness. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. You guys killed it. You guys did yeah, it. Yeah, that was awesome. I like Gumby, but yeah. honestly, I you feel loose. I feel job, good. good. Turns out, you, maybe the 35 class was the best. Right, yeah, <laughs> well, right right yeah, they've just had more right. experience, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Man. Turns out they've just been racing 10 years longer <laughs> yeah. than everybody else. So they're really good. Uh -huh. That was awesome, though. I have no idea where I finished. I'll be curious. Middle of the pack, probably. Yeah, but probably. Just happy to be out there doing it. You guys did a great job. Makes me want to come back. 
Yeah, we, we got we have Also, to. after some conditioning, turns out you gotta work out if you're yeah. gonna do this stuff. Yeah. You can't yeah. just suck down Mountain Dews and eat candy all day. <laughs> what? You don't work on stuff and think you're gonna go snowmobile racing. You actually gotta prepare for this. Yeah. Like, this is an athletic sport. Listen, here's the deal, dude. I'll lock in. We can start right now. And we'll come back next year and just freaking rain her out. Lock it in. Give oh, it yeah. to oh, Give it They to haven't him. seen this okay. on video so, okay. yet. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alright, alright. Really? No, it's not too early. This is the right time. Seeing this fist bump, thumbs up. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huge deal. Huge deal. <laughs> uh, so huge thanks to Andrew Carlson for inviting us out. Uh, yeah. Letting us rip his sleds. Uh, we wrecked him. We went hard, but it was badass. Super awesome. If this event happens next year, it better happen, right? You guys should definitely happen. come. Come meet us. We'll bring way more hoodies. We'll have way more fun. We'll be on our own sleds. Yep. Hugely yeah. Hugely entertaining. Yeah. Hugely entertaining. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Huge thanks to Andrew. Huge thanks to all of you guys, as always. There's This is another one of these times where we find ourselves in these situations going, man, should we be here? How did we get here? How is this happening? But it's awesome. And it's because of you guys. So if you're watching these videos, subscribe or donating on Patreon, buying that merchandise, buying the parts of the part site, don't, or uh, buying through Rocky Mountain, like all of that stuff. So huge. Like we're having the greatest experience out here because of you guys. So, thank you. We'll see you back at the shop. Thanks to everyone that come and said hi to us. Huge like, thing. Yeah. All the positive energy I can really use right now. And uh, everyone was awesome. Minnesota was awesome. You guys are awesome for watching. Everyone that met us is awesome. Let's lock it in, Doug. Triple? Yeah. Triple? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Great, dude.